In this video, we'll look at the intersection of three planes, except I'm going to let you know ahead of time, there actually is no solution. I mean, they look like three normal planes. Here's their equations, 6x minus 4y minus 8z minus 16, and x minus y minus z minus 12 also equals 0. They both equal 0. And 3x minus 2y minus 4z minus 10 equals 0. So we start as normal. There's a reason why we always do these checks. We're checking as normal the normal vectors and seeing what they are. And what we're looking for is are the normal vectors multiples of each other? Well, the normal vectors are 6, negative 4, negative 8. Just looking at the components of the xyz. And I got 1, negative 1, negative 1. And 3, negative 2, negative 4. So when I look at normal vectors, I want to compare are, is, are any of the multiples of the other. So n1 to n2, uh, to get from 6 to 1, you divide by 6, but clearly negative 4 divided by 6 is not negative 1. What about 6 to 3? To get from 6 to 3, you divide by 2. And to get from negative 4 to negative 2, you divide by 2. Look at that. This n1 vector is a multiple of the n3 vector. When you go n1 to n3, you could go divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, it's perfect. The n1 vector is exactly two times the n3 vector. Aha! But notice that the other equation is not a multiple of that. So let's write that down as um, but n2 is not a multiple. So what that means is we've got, you know, it would help maybe to have a sketch. It means that we've got these two, and I'm not great at drawing, so bear with me here. We've got these two planes. Here's one, and here's another plane. Remember, they extend infinitely, so bear with this drawing that these planes are infinite. But they're supposed to be stacked parallel. They'll never touch these two. That's I know that because I have two normal vectors coming off them that are parallel, which, sorry, which are multiples of each other, so they must imply that their planes are parallel. But then I've got this third with that represented by the second equation. I'll label them one, two, three. This corresponding second normal to this second plane means that that other plane is doing something else. It's not parallel. So we could try and draw it. Bear with me while I try. Draw it like this. Maybe draw it like that. And this is supposed to be another plane, and it's passing through both of those. So where are they intersecting? Well, two of them intersect here, and then they also intersect, two intersect here, but at no point do all three planes intersect. They've got a pair here and a pair here, but no triple intersection. And that's what we mean by intersection. All three have to intersect in the same place. Since they don't, it's already over. We can say, like we've said here, well, I'll, f I'll finish with the concluding statement. Therefore, there is no solution. And let's look at that again. The answer to this is no solution. How come? When we look at these three planes, we take their normal vectors and we see that two of them, in this case, the first plane and the third plane, we can tell from their normal vectors, are parallel because their normal vectors are multiples of each other. So we can write, I'll just maybe fill in some gaps here if you're unsure. This normal vector was a multiple of this one, but n2 is not a multiple. Therefore, we have two parallel planes, but a third distinct plane. And no matter where they are, we don't need to graph it on the axes, no matter where they are, it's got to be that there are two planes, maybe it's rotated somehow or at an angle, but we're going to have two parallel planes and a third plane somehow crossing them, but never in one spot, always in two different places. And a solution would have to be where they all intersect at the same place. Therefore, there's no solution.